Are you struggling to understand what the Bible says about homosexuality? Are you looking for guidance on this sensitive topic? Look no further. In this video, we'll dive into the scriptures and explore five powerful lessons on homosexuality that can give you a deeper understanding of this complex issue. We start with the basics. The Bible is clear about God's design for sexuality. It is as written in Genesis 1, 27 and 28. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heaven and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Now let's like explore what the Bible says specifically about homosexuality. In Leviticus 18.22, it states, Do not have sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman. That, that is detestable. And in Romans 1.26 and 27, For this reason God gave them up to dishonorable passions, for their women exchanged natural relations for those that are contrary to nature. And the men likewise gave up natural relations with women and were consumed with passion for one another. Men committing shameless acts with men and receiving in themselves the due penalty for their error. So what can we learn from these passages? Lesson number one, homosexuality goes against God's design for sexuality. Lesson number two, the Bible clearly identifies homosexuality as sin. Lesson three, there are consequences to engaging in homosexual behavior. But wait, there's more to the story. Lesson four, we are all sinners and fall short of God's glory, which is Romans 3, 23. Now, while we should not compromise and pretend sin is not sin, we should also point others towards God's forgiveness and grace. Lesson number five, as Christians, it is our responsibility to share the gospel of Christ with all people, letting them know that there is forgiveness available, that Jesus paid the price for the sins of the world, that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. However, this does not mean we can just say we believe and continue in the same sins. As Jesus tells us in John 8, 34, Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who practices sin is a slave to sin. And we know that the wages of sin is death. And there you have it. Five powerful lessons on homosexuality from the Bible. By studying and applying these teachings, we can gain a deeper understanding of God's plans for sexuality and our role as Christians in sharing his love with others. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Bible study tips.